Hi, in this short video I'll be showing you how to uh, deploy NetApp NFS plugin for VMware VAII. VAAI. As you can see that um, one of my ESX servers, the dead, all the data stores that are listed in hardware acceleration section, it shows non-supported. So <clears throat> for that matter we need to uh, install the NFS plugin. So what NFS plugin does is, is basically it's just an AP. Uh, the uh, the VMware VAI um, is an API that allows you to upload certain tasks from physical hosts to the storage array. Um, these tasks can be like thin provisioning and hardware exploration. Um, uh, so in order to install this um, plugin, you can do it either through the VSC console or through the command line. Um, so for VSC console, you your vCenter server uh, should have the VSC uh, uh, VSC plugin or VSC software installed. Um, for example, in this case, as you can see, I have this and this NetApp uh, VSC console installed. This is a ESX. This is a vCenter version six. So uh, in older versions, it was you 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 were able to access this through the vCenter client. But in the newer, in the version six, um, you can access it through the uh, uh, through the vSphere web client. Um, so you can go to home, and here you can see the virtual storage console. So in one of the other videos, I had shown that how we can install the um, NFS plugin using the um, using the uh, VSC console. In this video, I'll be showing you how we can install this plugin using the command line. Um, so, first thing we need to do is we need to first um, go to the uh, go to the uh, NetApp uh, command line. So, and just check to see if the virtual if the vSorted um, check the vSorted uh, support status. So for that, the command will be this. And the best thing you can do with the with the NetApp is you can just type in any command and just hit tab, and it gives you different option um, uh, about what to do next. So here, if I hit tab, V server. So the next option was the only option that gave me the. ESX, uh, the vServer name. In your environment, you should have a different name. So your own vServer name, whatever that name would be. Um, and then I'll do a instance. So here, as you can see, um, that the NFS storage support is enabled. And I'm also running the NFS version 3. Um, um, so let's also go to the interoperability matrix for for NetApp, and this is the URL to go there. Um, so what you do here is you basically <coughs> let me just clear our everything. So when you start your uh, when you start the matrix in the search area, you just type the AI. On this and hit next. In my case, I'm running the cluster data on tap version 8.3.1. 8 and as you can see, the only protocol which I can use is the NFS, NFS version 3. And also, I'm running the hypervisor ESX i6 update 1. And for that, I can only install this kind of version. I mean, this uh, this plugin, this version. So you can go to the software uh, website, download uh, website for NetApp, and here you can search for VAI, and there it is. Under platform, I'll choose ESX6, and hit next. So that's the same version that I saw here. And then go to view and download. Click continue accept the license agreement 
and if you are installing it through the VSC console then you just need the WIP file if you're installing it through the uh, command line then you will use the zip file so I'll be using the zip file and using the uh, command line to download and here you can click on this to install it I've already ins installed I've already downloaded it on my machine and then I went ahead and uh, uh, copied this over to um, a shared data store <clears throat> so in my case here's a shared data store that I have copied it to under FB2 temp dev1 and then under temp and then I created a folder called VAI and that's the zip file so we can access the zip file uh, before doing that, um, let's just also go to the ESX server and uh, check a couple of things. So first thing we need to check is to make sure that VAII is enabled on the ESX server or not. And for that, you need to uh, you need to run these two commands. And if you're if you see one, it means it is enabled. If you don't see one, so for that you then you need to run these two commands so that you can enable VAI on the ESX host. If you have multiple hosts, you need to check this on each and every host. You can also check the, these values by going to the um, research client. You go to home and go to the data to go to the ESX server and under under manage then settings, advanced settings and these are the two values that you see uh, they're one so it means that uh, uh, the VAI is enabled VAI is enabled on the VMware host, we just need to install the driver so let's go ahead and um, go to the data store so for that I need to uh, let's go to the data store. It will be under VMFS volumes, and so in my case, it is this data store. So I'll just use CD. And as you can see, that the name has name changed uh, from the actual data store name to the UUID uh, name. So just make note of that. Then um, go to temp VAI, and there's a driver that I need. Okay, so before installing the software, we need to check, uh, we need to verify the contents of this zip file, and we can do that by running this command ESXCI software uh, sources VID list. And then the path, and then the zip file, and hit enter. So uh, that's the ex so this is the file that actually we're looking for, and that's that's what it, it's inside. And uh, so we'll go ahead and. Uh, proceed with the installation. So using the similar command, uh, I'll make some changes in the command and that will be instead of VIB list, we'll do VIB install and then what are we installing? We have to define that and that will be this plugin. I just have extra n so ESX CLI software sources VIB install n minus n then D and then the zip file name. Oh, actually I have one extra thing in the command. So removing that. Um, 
um, okay there it is um, so it has been installed and as you can see that the system needs to reboot uh, for the changes to be effective so at this point we are pretty much done and we just need to go ahead and reboot the server so I'm going to exit out from here and put this server into maintenance mode and then click on reboot so here I'll pause the video and we'll come back once um, once the server is back up and then we'll see that the storage as we see here which shows non-supported will be shown as supported and we can also check the uh, the plugin and so in, uh, the, the plugin in the list of the VIP um, from the command line. Okay, so the server has come back up, um, and as we can see here, that under hardware acceleration, all the data stores are now showing supported. And let me just take this out of the maintenance mode. So using the command line, we can check the list of the drivers that was installed. So CLI software VIP list. So here you can see NetApp plugin, which was installed today. Um, so that tells, that just shows that okay, the plugin was installed properly. We, we, we are, we are, we're also able to see. Um, the hardware acceleration, everything looks good. Um, well, thank you so much for uh, watching watching this video.